Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Thursday. It is March 4th, 2021. Uh, so we're going to get into the topic in a moment. But uh, first of all, I wanted to uh, explain to you guys what I've been doing pretty much all day. I've been on, been on answering emails, uh, talking on the phone all day as far as the Prepper Underground Network is starting, okay? And so that's what I have been working on. And uh, it is, uh, if I have not, re if you have emailed me and I have not gotten to you yet, please be patient and I will get to you, I promise. Uh, it has just been very, very crazy busy with doing this. And uh, it's, you know, it's going to take some time. But uh, I'm working uh, oldest emails first. So if you had uh, emailed me the 28th, uh, of uh, February, that's where I'm at right now, and I'm working on those. So uh, I will get to everybody, I promise. Please be patient, and uh, I will get you updated of what is going on. Uh, one of the people that I spoke with today was Magic Prepper. Um, I'm going to encourage you all to go and check out his channel. He is also a YouTuber, and uh, he has a channel, and uh, he's got a lot of good information over there. So I would encourage you to go over there, show him some support, tell him Prepper Nurse One sent you, and uh, he is going to be working with me with the Prepper Underground Railroad as well. So uh, I, you know, uh, so for all of those of you that were talking about Grim, uh, Grim's Survival, I believe is his name. I'm if I said it wrong, I apologize. Uh, but uh, I do have an email out to him. Or uh, a Grim Prepper or whatever. I'm not sure what he... I know he goes by Grim, but I think it's Grim Survival. But uh, I do have an email out to him uh, reaching out to, to chat. So we'll see what happens with that as well. And uh, But I think it's important as preppers and uh, YouTubers that we network and work together and those type of things as well. So that's... Uh, I'm working on it, folks. Uh, it's going to take a while. Uh, a tremendous amount of emails, but uh, we will get there, okay? So I just wanted to share that first to let you guys know. So I'm going to show you uh, back here real quick before we... So this is all cleared out now, okay? Uh, so where this is here, this is going to be the newest wood that when I do order wood this year is going to go here. What um, And it's all stacked up like that. It's fun. But what I'm going to do... This is why I'm now working in this area. I'm working to clear this back all the way to the back, and uh, I'll get as much of it done as I can because I'm going to move this wood where it's not it's not going to go this way with the rows. The rows are all going to go this way. And so that's what I'm going to work on um, as soon as, like I said, as soon as I stop burning, uh, then this will get... I'll come in here and I'll square this away and work on this. But the more wood that I take out of here to start with, is less wood that I have to move when I rearrange things. So this will be where the oldest wood is going to be, because now this is the oldest wood. Uh, will be from this point here, and it'll probably come right up close to the door, and there'll be a path this way to walk in there. So that's the game plan with that, okay? And just wanted to share that with you. But anyway, okay, so let us talk about this really quickly. Uh, March 4th, the whole big uh, credible intel of possible, you know, attacks at the Capitol. Uh, the Capitol Police have now requested that the National Guard have a 60-day extension uh, to stay in the Capitol. i got to put this up. Even though this is a ratty-looking sweatshirt, it is very, very warm, and it's awesome. So um, I've had this forever, and I don't even remember where I got it from. Um, it is beat up. It's dirty. It's got burn marks up in, in here from being too close to the fire through the years. But I'll tell you what, this uh, sweatshirt has been just fantastic. So please excuse the look of it. Um, I'm not a bum. I just, if it works and it's comfortable, I don't care. <laughs> so anyway, actually maybe I'll go in the greenhouse. We'll go in the greenhouse and we can talk out of the uh, out of the weather. There's the puppies out and about. Uh, and the chickens are out as well. <clears throat> All right. Oh yeah, this will be much better. Okay. So uh, they're extending the, we're wanting to extend the, uh, National Guard for another 60 days down in the Capitol. And of course now the, the, the big thing is, you know, they're so fearful of these, you know, um, what is, what, what, I'm trying to remember the right wording that they were using. Uh, domestic, um, they, they don't use, they didn't say terrorists, but they said, uh, 
Domestic extremism. That's what it was. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Let's not just lump that into the category of possibly being, uh, you know, three percenters or uh, oath keepers, or you know, because the, the the focus is on you know majority white groups is what they're trying to put that blame on. But I'm going to tell you what. Antifa, BLM have been down in Washington D.C. Done a whole lot more damage down there than uh, anybody did, uh, you know, when they went down there for the rally. They did a whole lot more damage than than those folks. So, uh, you know, again, now of course now you're seeing in the news. I don't know if you guys were seeing this. Um, there was talk that uh, Antifa had uh, melded in with the crowd and was part of that whole insurrection thing with the Capitol building. And I'm going to tell you right now, and I've said this before, so I will repeat myself for those that uh, think, well, how can you say that that's okay that they did this? I have never, not one time, have said that it was okay what they did at the Capitol building. It was a very stupid thing. It was a mistake that they should have never have done because it was a setup, in my opinion. They were allowed to go in there. Uh, you could see the videos of the police waving them in, the police standing off to the side, letting them do what they wanted to do. And uh, so, you know, that was a complete setup. You think they would do that with Antifa or BLM? Probably not, because they know that they'd probably go in there and set that building on fire, okay? It's just, uh, there's a lot of games going on out there right now, a lot of manipulation going on. But uh, I think there's a, a credible threat as far as extremist groups, period, regardless of what extremist groups that they are, regardless of what color the members of these extremist groups are. Um, so it's not just white people, even though white people are being vilified at the moment. It amazes me that the regular public can watch everything that happened last year, and then there's the one event that was, you know, got a little bit out of hand, because it really didn't get out of hand as much as people want to try to portray it to be out of hand, um, with what happened at the Capitol building, okay? When you're talking to close to a million people down there, uh, they could have really taken that whole building over with absolutely, you know, no problem at all, uh, no problem at all. But that's, that wasn't the case, okay? A lot of people didn't go in because they knew it wasn't the right thing to do. Um, if you guys remember seeing the video of the one guy in a Trump hat saying to the police that we're standing on the side, why are you allowing this to happen? I don't know if you saw that video. I saw it. Um, and it just goes to show you. It was allowed to happen because they wanted to make Trump supporters, uh, you know, three percenters, oath keepers, they wanted them in a bad light. And so that's what they got, and now they can be the new villain and the new boogeyman. But yet, all last year, all summer long, you had groups all over the country, uh, Antifa, BLM, burning, looting, beating people up, uh, attacking the police, and all that's, all that's perfectly fine, right? It is amazing, the double standard, especially with the press, uh, I think it's disgusting, and it happens continuously. Um, that's why I'm really wanting to get this prepper network thing going the prepper underground railroad uh, i think it's important that we are able to be there to support each other when the time comes and not only being able to travel that way but communications wise as well so i really hadn't got into the whole uh, communications aspect of it yet but i think having um, ham radios is going to be a big part of that because we're going to be able to communicate over long distances with each other to give out warnings to uh, you know sh for support to help each other in those type of things. Really, really important. Uh, I'm gonna say that we got a burst of sunshine because the fans just kicked up big time. Um, but anyway, so that's uh, you know that's that's where we're at with that. I, I really think this is an important thing to do, and that's why, like I said, I'm sitting down. Um, I had to stop to make this video, and when this video is done um, and I get it uploaded, I will continue again today to make more calls and, uh, and work on trying to catch up. Uh, I get more emails every single day. So again, um, I am at the 28th of February right now. So uh, if you are in that frame, uh, I probably have contacted you today, or if I haven't yet, I will be trying to get to you. Uh, but I, again, there will be a lot of, I have a lot of work to do with that, and I'm going to work at that, you know, as I can. Uh, and I still have to do other stuff, too, on top of it. But I just figured it was snowing, it was miserable today. It was a good day to really sit down and try to bang out a bunch of uh, calls, and that's what I've been doing. So, anyway, um, 
that's where we're at. Uh, you know, we're just trying to get things squared away. But um, it, it's nice to have Magic Prepper um, on board. Um, I'm looking forward to working with him. Uh, we had a really long conversation on the phone, and uh, seems like a really squared away dude, and I like that. And uh, so we're definitely going to be uh, working together, and I look forward to working with him. Um, and again, go over to his channel, Magic Prepper. Uh, subscribe, show him some love, tell him Prepper Nurse One sent you over. Okay? I think, like I said, I, I think we need to work together. Uh, we need to network together, support each other, and all those type of things. So uh, that's where I'm at with that. All right. So anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off of here for now because uh, I want to get back on the horn, get this video up for you guys, and uh, go from there. So remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race, and I think a lot of people don't realize that, but they need to. Uh, also, uh, remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. And last but not least, STD, step thing and day. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only person that is going to stop you from reaching those goals is you. Nobody else can stop you. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? Uh, I will talk to you all later. Have a great day. Uh, I will be doing another video later today as well. But uh, I definitely want to hear your feedback, too, on this whole Capitol Police thing with wanting them to extend the National Guard for another 60 days. Uh, so I think that that's interesting as well. So what is going on that we don't know about? That would be my question as well. So anyway, I will see you all later. Have a good day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.